footings. In this section of the video, we will review level footings, footing widths, step footings, and placement of steel reinforcing dowels. It is well worth making the effort to ensure your footings are square and level. A footing placed and finished accurate to plus or minus a quarter inch is an ideal starting point. If the footings are not within these tolerances, it may be necessary to shim up or trim the bottom of the first course of block to make a level surface for the following courses and to keep your corners plumb and wall lengths correct. Footings need to be laid out to accommodate the width of the form. For example, on a 20-inch footing, the center line of the footing becomes the center line of the wall. We recommend you make your footings a minimum of 20 inches wide to accommodate the 11 and a quarter inch wide blocks. A 20 inch wide footing makes it more practical to lay out blocks in case errors in alignment have occurred. In the case of step footings, we recommend a step height of 16 and a half inches, which matches the height of a standard form. This step height can be accomplished by stacking three 2 by 6s on edge to a total of 16.5 inches. Check with local building officials as to the maximum rise and minimum run for step footings permitted in your area, or refer to the appropriate building code. Steel reinforcing dowels should extend a minimum of 16 inches from the top of the footing to match the size, spacing, and position of the vertical reinforcement required in the foundation wall. This information may be found in your engineering specifications.